Madam Chair, thank you so much for uh, holding this uh, very important meeting uh, hearing today and, and to listen to our small business owners uh, throughout most of our districts. Uh, today it's an honor for me to introduce uh, one of our um, great employers uh, of the 11th district and not only is able to participate in, in uh, developing uh, great technologies uh, that for um, the sporting industry, um, uh, sports gear, outdoor gear, but also be able to uh, have manufacture um, um, tents, not only for our military, but for our Boy Scouts. And having uh, to go through their facility to see their technology and the way they're able to, even during tough times, to be able to gain market share. Uh, uh, Will Guy and his entire staff has done an incredible job of maintaining market share, but also being innovated through their technology and, and um, the ways they've conducted their business. In, in tough times, they've, uh, uh, they've been able to uh, cut back in areas, uh, look at their overall uh, business portfolio, and understand how they can uh, be a, a true um, competitor in this industry. And so, uh, Madam Chair, without further ado, I would like to welcome Mr. Uh, Will Gay to, uh, to the committee. Madam Chairwoman, Ranking Member Ms. Meyer, and members of the committee, Congressman Schuler, thank you for the opportunity to testify before you today. It is truly a great honor to me and my company. My name is Will Gay. I live in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Diamond Brand Canvas Products and Diamond Brand Outdoors. Diamond Brand was originally established in Philadelphia in 1881. We've been involved in the sewn products industry since 1920 when we first began to manufacture tarpaulins and other, other heavy canvas items. We're the oldest continuously operating sewn product manufacturer in the country. In 1931, Diamond Brand manufactured the very first backpack for the Boy Scouts. Throughout the years, we've manufactured outdoor equipment for other well-known organizations and companies, including the Girl Scouts, L.L. Bean, and Eddie Bauer. A little over 45 years ago, our foray into the outdoor retail market began in a small garage connected to our manufacturing facility and has now grown to three stores with more than 40,000 square feet of retail floor space. We're currently exploring expansion opportunities both within and outside the current local markets that we serve. Diamond Brand has received many local and national awards, including Best Outdoor Outfitter in Western North Carolina for the past six years in a row, the BLA Top Supplier Award presented by the United States Department of Defense, and the Export Achievement Award presented by the United States Commerce Department. Asheville is nestled in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of Western North Carolina, an area with countless resources for being outdoors. We conduct regular in-store educational programs that are free to our community to help them begin their own outdoor pursuits. Our employees contribute hundreds of volunteer hours annually to trail maintenance and river cleanup initiatives. We are also active members on many of the local environmental organizations. Diamond Brand prides itself on its mission of being an outwardly community-focused organization. We give back more than $100,000 per year to organizations that share our values and beliefs. We have partnered with the YMCA of Western North Carolina at the highest level of financial support in its Strong Kids campaign, an initiative focused on activity and exercise for kids. We also provide in-kind gifts and services and further support at summer camp initiatives for underprivileged children in our area. During World War II, Diamond Brand manufactured products for over 144 different government contracts to support the United States war effort. During the past 25 years, we've refocused our efforts to manufacture many products for the Department of Defense and have made government contracting a significant part of our area of expertise. Diamond Brand currently holds two multi-year contracts to produce the soldier crew tent for the United States Army and the two-man combat tent currently being fielded by the United States Marine Corps, Army, and Air Force. This tent has also gained favor and recognition with several allied foreign militaries and is being evaluated for a number of large contract tenders overseas. Diamond Brand is currently involved in, se in several technology development initiatives for new tents and shelters for the United States Special Forces, the Marine Corps, and the Army. Diamond Brand is also manufacturing a platform of propri proprietary anti-corrosion operational weapons and shipping covers for most of the Department of Defense's rotary winged aircraft platforms, as well as the MRAP mine resistant vehicles and the Patriot missile systems that are deployed worldwide. Over the last decade, our regional economy in Western North Carolina has suffered greatly from the loss of manufacturing jobs. 
Diamond Brand currently employs more than 140 people in our manufacturing and retail business platforms. We are fortunate that through our planning efforts and growth initiatives, Diamond Brand has continued to aggressively hire and provide jobs and benefits for our employees. Our employees come from many diverse backgrounds, nationalities, and cultures, with each one making a unique contribution on our business. As a small business, we know our employees, and we know that without their talent and dedication, we would not be standing here before you to talk about the success we've enjoyed. I would like to tell you about a few of these special people whose contributions have made Diamond Brand what it is today. Wanda Hensley is 61 years old and has worked at Diamond Brand in our Boy Scout of America and Military Tent Line for 14 years. Both her husband and son are currently laid off from other manufacturers in our area, so this job is crucial to the well-being of her family. She takes advantage of our benefits package and 401k because her husband, who worked for his former employee for 24 years, lost all of his benefits that the company had committed to provide before they closed their doors. Marcus Wick is 29 years old and recently married with a young child. He graduated from Cal State with a degree in geography, but has not been able to find a job in his field of interest. His last employer laid him off during the economic downturn, and although he had no experience in industrial sewing, Diamond Brand was the only company hiring, so he accepted our job offer. And today, he is one of our top in producing employees. In conclusion, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to testify before this committee today. I continue to ask each of you to be mindful that our ability to operate as a successful small business, remaining financially viable and nimble to respond to the needs of the marketplace, relies directly on our ability to run our business profitably. In doing so, we need to have the opportunity to reinvest our resources and capital into new technology that makes us more efficient in what we do, as well as invest in the ongoing training, hiring, and retention of our employees to make what we do possible. I want my company to continue to be a place where people want to work, knowing that they will be provided for and thus be able to provide for their families. I want to continue to dream big for the future of my family, company, and my community in an area and an industry that has been hard hit over the past year. And I want to be reassured that the laws and policies that are currently being crafted and implemented today will offer us the ability to be the leaders of the entrepreneurial spirit and the engine of growth that this country has depended on for so many years. Thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you.